Hey guys, it's Miss Marissa. Today I'm going to be reading a special book for you guys. It is called The Grouchy Ladybug. But before I get into reading the book, I want to talk about what grouchy means. So is I wonder, this is The Grouchy Ladybug, and when I'm looking at the cover, if you can see his face, he doesn't look very happy. Grouchy is not a good word. Grouchy is whenever something is bothering somebody. So, The Grouchy Ladybug, something's bothering him. So we're gonna read and find out what that is and let's see if he can get better from that. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. It looked less sure of itself. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the, loudy, the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening the sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 7 o'clock, at 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist said the hyena laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Is that rhinoceros bigger than the ladybug? Look at how tiny it is. <laughs> I wonder why he's asking, and they're all saying yes, and he's not fighting them. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, 
said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. There's the little bitty ladybug right there. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the, the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they both went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Well, that was nice because at the end he had a friend, right? And that person was very kind, even though he said he wanted to fight them. Did he actually want to fight? No. Sometimes whenever we're upset, we say things that we don't mean. So what I want you to do for your activity is I want you to think about and talk about with somebody else is what makes you grouchy? What makes you feel bothered sometimes? And how you guys can make yourselves feel better. What's something that can make yourself feel better? And so that way you're not in a grouchy mood anymore. Because it's not very fun whenever you were in a grouchy mood, huh? So one thing that makes Miss Marissa grouchy is waking up super early and feeling tired. So one way that I can make sure that I don't wake up and feel grouchy in the morning and because I just want to sleep all day is I go to sleep on time and I make sure that I get plenty of sleep. So that way, whenever I wake up, I feel better and I feel awake and that way I won't be upset. So now I want you to think about it and talk about that with somebody in your family or somebody that you're with right now. Okay, but that's it for today. Bye guys, I'll see you guys next time.